and have that squared, which again, we give you the exact same result um, I did in my notes as the quotient rule. Because you can see you basically have a expression over another expression, so we could use the quotient rule. You could also reuse the power rule of this if you like. But by using the quotient rule, we have f of x times um, at x equals 1, the derivative of my numerator, which is going to be 0, equals uh, my, oops, sorry, not equals, minus 1 times f prime of x divided by f squared of x. So f of x at x equals 1, as I said, yes. Um, f of x at x equals 1 is going to be 9 times f prime of x at 1 is 1 fifth. And then that's going to be divided by uh, f of x at 1, which is negative 3 squared. So therefore, I end up with a negative 1 fifth divided by a 9. Just remember, we could simplify this if we needed to to get it as one fraction just by multiplying by my reciprocal. But you leave it in as x. 